Good morning, kids. Uh, this is Karen Lee with another uh, session of Karen Reads from my living room here in South Berwick, Maine. Uh, my book today is called Click Clack Moo, Cows the Type. Um, it's written by Doreen Cronin, who lives in New York City. Her last name is spelled C-R-O-N-I-N, if you want to Google her and see her picture and some information about her. She's written other books in the Click Clack series and the Duck Squawk series and the Bug Diaries. So she's written all kinds of interesting stuff. It's illustrated by Betsy Lewin, L-E-W-I-N, who lives in a small town in Pennsylvania. She won the Collicott Medal for this book, which is a really big deal. So it's, it's, it's exciting to be able to feature this book today. Uh, she's on the New York Times bestseller list on a regular basis. So we have a good illustrator with us this morning. Okay, a couple of words about the book. Um, it talks about typewriters. And you guys have probably never seen a typewriter. Um, it's an old-fashioned thing that I grew up with that I learned to type on. And the big difference between it and the computer is just the typewriters make noise, more noise. Every time you strike a letter, it makes a big noise. So uh, this writer decided that the way they sounded was click-clack every time they made a noise. So that's what... That's what you're hearing here. Click clack tells it cows that type. Um, a couple words that will come up that you may not know. They talk about the duck being neutral. That means that the duck is in the middle. He hasn't chosen sides yet. And they talk about an ultimatum. That means a final decision. So that'll make sense to you when we get to that point in the book. Okay. Click Clack Moo Cows the Type by Doreen Cronin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, click clack moo. He doesn't look too happy. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. But, click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear, there's a note on the barn door that the cows typed. It says, Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. And there's their note for the farmer. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blanket. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. And you can see how angry he is. You can see his angry shadow. He's raising his fists. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. 
They're busy typing. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. And you can see the chilly hens and the farmer in the background reading the note. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the door. Clothes, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. Cows that type, hands on strike. Whoever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. And you can see him here running back to the house with his hands in the air. He's totally exasperated. He was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. You can see him carrying the note. From Farmer Brown to the cows and the hens. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer, and you can see all the animals, the horse, the pig, the cat, the dog, and the sheep. They're trying to understand Moo, but they don't know how to speak Moo. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning he handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. And you can see the cows, each of them wrapped up in a blanket and one big long blanket left over the hens. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. So we see the ducks. Now they got a hold of the typewriter and they're typing. Oh, last page. You can see that Farmer Brown gave in. He gave them a diving board. Okay, what a goofy book. But he decided he had to give in. All right. Okay. I hope you're well. I will talk to you again soon. Take care.
Bye-bye.